is actually going to happen. Yeah, man, this is a fight that I think everyone's going to want to see. This is like a fighter's fight, you know, two old school boys getting down. So um, I got to say uh, no mentality, so it don't matter who they give me, you know. Just got my ass whipped coming off a hard fight. Now I got another one. So it's good, man. It's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped for it. Is, is he a guy, I mean, obviously you were looking weight classes for like, True. pretty much your entire career, but is he always a guy that you looked at and said, man, I wouldn't mind throwing down with that dude? He's always a guy that I watch fight like he's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> you know, he, 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 he gives it. So, oh yeah, I'd love it. Why yeah. not? What, um, uh, when, when that first fight was lost, what, what were your feelings? I know you said in the past that it was almost it was very devastating for you to sure. get that fight in, in New York, too. I mean, uh, it is what it is. He called me like a friend. He's like, yo, man, I got to tell you, I got, I got some personal shit going on. I got to pull off. And I was like, shit, that got on. You know, that's you're telling me. Um, here we are. We're back on. It's all good. Have, have you guys texted or, or talked since I just then? seen him last weekend in Dallas. Oh, yeah? Give him a big old hug. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Did he say anything? I said, I love you, Robbie. He's like, yeah, man. I, I said, you ain't got to hate me, brother. It's all good with boys. <laughs> See you in a few months. You can't miss entertainment. I mean, this, I don't know how this fight could let down. No, yeah. There's no way. I mean, that's, we have us out here selling this fight. I'm like, what do you got to sell this fight for? This is this is the one. This is it. You know, this is going to be it's gonna be fun. And that whole card is pretty stacked. Right? No, from bell to bell. That's what I tell everyone today. It's bell to bell to bell. You know, the... The main event to be announced, um, it's going to be just as good. The champ is here. The champ is here. Champ is here. Did you get a chance to watch uh, the Maya Mazadal fight last week? I did. I was you front row. Yeah. So you must have watched this. What did you think? Uh, first, what did you think of the, of the decision, the scoring? And what sure, Maya won. Yeah. What did you think of the fight itself? I mean, I thought... Um, I thought Masvidal did real good defending that choke. I mean, that's his bread and butter, you know. Uh, he did a great job. Maya did what he had to do to win, man. You know, he earned himself a title shot. Are you ready for this? We've rehearsed all morning. <laughs> right? We've rehearsed. Yes. Say it with your balls today. <laughs> We've been working on our, yeah. on our answers all morning. <laughs> You get some pretty good answers uh, a few days ago at the, yeah. the press conference. Good. Yeah. That was pretty good. good. That was today's nice. even today's even better. Yeah. You got some things uh, things for us. My belt ain't going nowhere. Definitely. Beat that bitch's ass once and I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I will. I will. Cowboy school of media media coaching. Yeah, he coached me. <laughs> <laughs> You look like a, you look like a little bigger. I mean, is strength gonna be like a huge part of? You can never fight? tell women she looks bigger. <laughs> not, yeah. not, 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 not. No, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, I've been lifted a lot, and, and uh, I think it's gonna be a big thing. It's gonna be being powerful and, and strong for sure. Are you doing it specifically just for this fight, or is it something that you want to incorporate into like all the fights you go forward? Actually, uh, it's for this fight. I'm trying a new thing, and we'll see. I think it's gonna work very well. Be work very well in the gym, and can't wait to to see the fight. Yeah. It was a, in the first fight. It was a competitive, difficult fight, right? I mean, it's kind of up for grabs. Why? What is this one gonna be like? Yeah, I think it's gonna be the same. But uh, oh. for sure, we're gonna be sharp. I will be. I will capitalize on every single mistake. You know, when uh, when I get the back of it, I go like last time I really finish. I be I joist very good in my ground game and um, my strike as well. And study the game a lot. My my strategy have to be on point to finish as fast that I can or go to five rounds, whatever. You know, I think it's gonna be a battle and I'm gonna be ready for. It. How much confidence do you have? You know, coming off beating Ronda Rousey, just you know, you feel like I mean, like you said, the champ is here. You are the champion here. There's no questions about it. Yeah, definitely. Every every time I step in that cage, I will be the the best. You know, I will be ready, and this this is gonna be my next step, and I will be 100% ready for, for her.
I know everything she's, she's gonna bring. She's no evolve since my fight against her. You know, I can do my strategy very well and take this fight again. When you guys uh, faced off last week at the press conference, kind of put your fist on her chin and then pushed. What happened? She touched you first. How, why, why did you do that? Yeah, definitely. I never did this. You guys never see. Yeah, it. yeah. That's why I wanted. I did that before. You know, if she don't touch me, nothing's gonna happen. But uh, imagine in that situation, you know, a lot of emotion involved. Somebody touch your face. I think it's not cool. You know, and I, uh, I, I kind of respond in that moment like I was more than she did to me. But uh, I react. You, know? you never know, especially how you feel that moment. And some somebody talk so much shit about you, touch you, your face. <laughs> that angle, you guys can see very well, but I, I felt, right. you know. And Is it even, her, it was her right fist? Was it her right? Her, her right fist, right? Yes. I she think, yeah. She touched you on the left side, on the left side, on the left side of your chin. Was, was right, right when she right? tried to get involved and then she touched and then back up a little bit. Nobody right. can see, <laughs> but I felt, and then she knows she did. And, even, yeah. uh, even before that happened, during the press conference, you guys were talking a lot to each other, and that's not something that you usually do, and this is something that she usually does either. Is, is it almost is it almost personal now? Is it a little bit of that? No, I think she like is is no excuse about it. You know, I beat her. My mom is this. You, she keep having a uh, talk about some things. It doesn't make any sense. You know, like the the numbers doesn't lie. You know, the, if she look my record, she's gonna see she lost. And why she keep saying like over and over the same thing? Doesn't make any sense. She have to try to get another sentence, you know? Because this one doesn't make any sense. And does that does that bother you that she keeps saying that, or is it maybe frustrating that she keeps saying it? No, I'm okay. If I have to respond over and over, letting she know, letting she know I did her, I will do. It's not personal for me. I'm completely okay, and I will you. Get it this done, you know, the day of the fight. Do you think that maybe it's something that she's saying for herself to maybe try to build herself up a little bit, maybe to the media and also even just internally? Yeah, I think all of my opponents say that. Like guys out, uh, whatever, they have to say something about me, you know. But uh, I will, I will do my job, you know. I'm, I'm in the champion for a reason. I will keep it short. Donna, what do you think of, uh, of this? Is this going according to plan? Is this exactly what you wanted? She, she needs to be a little more stern, but she's, she's doing better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, Donna, um, you know, prior to, to the loss to Masvidal, you were on a nice streak. Sure. Uh, Robbie was in the same situation. He was a champ. He was on a tear. And he suffered a, a really tough loss. Do you sort of expect your guys' mindsets are going to be in terms of the sense of urgency to get back in the win column? And you guys are already bangers as it is. Yeah, I don't think you have to gas us up we're already full of tanks man you know Robbie's the old school been around forever so have I you know it's not like someone's gonna lose but I don't think I don't think Robbie looks at it like that neither do I like I don't go in there like fuck I have to win the, my career fuck I've concreted myself well enough in the sport I'm going to fight and fight one of the best brawlers who's gonna stand there and fucking throw down and put on a show, you know? This one's, this fight's for me. This is like what I love. There's no place I'd rather be than in that motherfucker, you know? And then and then throwing down one of the greatest, come on. I'm loving it, every minute of it. You know, before the match with all fight, the talk from you was, I want the belt at the end oh, of the year. Sure, sure. So how is that? Yeah. Seems like that sort of is on the backside now. This is all about just you enjoying how, the how, how How is that on the backside? Robbie's number two. Win over Robbie will put me right up there. Right? So that's still there. With oh, that. I don't give a fuck. I just like fighting, man. Just, just answering your question. But if you if you win, you're probably going to get Woodley Maya winning, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, probably not because I'll probably be like, give me another fight because I don't want to wait because I'm an idiot. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Some people are, like, born and they sole purpose, like this one right here, they love the belt. That's, like, their mission in life. Me... I enjoy having fun and doing what I love. Fighting is just something I do, man. You know, it's it's not like who I am. It doesn't like complete me. So at the end of the day, if I end up getting that belt, fucking great. If I don't, man, I had such a good run. I love it. This is what I like. 
there is literally no place I'd rather be July 8th than in the fucking ring throwing down. I love it. It's, it's my passion. So for me, that's like the highest pinnacle of my life, you know, doing what I love every fucking day. And um, people are always like, Cowboy, you should probably quit drinking. You should probably quit partying. You should No, fuck you all. I'm doing it my way. This is what I want to do. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm retired now. I'm living my life backwards. So, <laughs> once the UFC says no more, I'll go get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> From a pure fighting perspective, a couple years ago I asked you if you had noticed the benefit you had taken a few months off before you got that title shot with RDA, uh, whether it would help your body. You said no. Yeah, you I got, you got my ass whipped the same, didn't I? Now, yeah. You're the point now where you feel any benefit from taking a few months off? I mean, I, I, I don't, though. I'm always I always stay ready, you know. Um, fuck, I don't know. I, I want to fight all the time. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't know how many more shots my old brain can take, but we'll see. Yeah. How have you dealt with the, uh, the UFC imposed, hey, take a break? I had no choice. I had no choice, right? I begged in every day. Come on, come on, come on. He's like, no, no, no. Finally, they gave me the July. They gave me the date way before I even found out who. I didn't know who I was fighting. And um, then they called me and said, Robbie. I was like, yep, easy. He's a good with Dana, though, right? Always, yeah, yeah, for sure. He's just, he says he has, to, he has to protect me from myself sometimes. You said uh, it doesn't really matter that much. You know, win or lose to you, you're going to keep fighting. Um, Demetrius Johnson said something, this kind of relates to Amanda too, about Ronda Rousey this week. He kind of said, uh, actually, the exact words were, throw the fuck up, everyone loses. Sure. It, is that the kind of the mindset that, that you guys have as well? Like, is, losing is part of the sport. Is every, everyone ends up doing it at some point. I mean, by, by no means are we like, fuck, we're going in this to lose. Like, I don't get ready to fucking lose. For but me. when you do, yeah, pony up, motherfucker, dust off, and let's go. It's, I mean, it's, it's just what happens. You lose a game of cards, fuck whatever, you know? You lose your job, whatever. You lose a fight, what the, what the... If you called me and said, Cowboy, would you rather lose your title in the UFC or your kid get diagnosed with cancer? Like, oh, fuck, you know what I mean? Like, that's something I need to worry about. Losing a fight is nothing. The sun still rises, life goes on. It's just a yeah. fight. It's nothing serious, right? It's nothing... Nothing like, hey, some serious news. No, man. So I've heard of, like going hiding and go crazy. Why? Yeah, you got your ass whipped. Yeah. By one of the best in the world. Moving forward. You yeah. know? Yeah. I got beat before too, you know? Right. And right back now. Got to. Yeah. Got to. And now I'm the champion. I think like love it, life is gold. You know, you have to enjoy. Do the thing we love, like we say. And I do the same. You know, I be enjoying my life outside the, the training and fights. I enjoy my life with my girlfriend, do whatever, travel. But that pay-per-view money now, you really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, get, get ready, you know. Back to the gym, get ready, fight. That's it. I think this is the secret. Right, they say money doesn't buy happiness. But money, <laughs> yeah, does, but, the, but money does make sadness a little better like being sad yeah, no i know being that. sad and alone sucks but being sad on the yacht with all your friends a little, yeah. little more better right like, couple, like yeah four months four years ago i live in the gym and i don't have any money i, I got in this in this country 20 bucks in my pocket and then today i have my house in my new car you know, and, and commas and commas and i can help my family as, as well money for sure make people happy you know and better life you know for my next fight if I don't have the money, how am I gonna be ready for? You know, you have to. What kind of car do you get? Huh? What kind of car? <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I don't weigh like so like high. Or get a, Cam a Camaro. Yeah. Cowboy yeah. yeah. approves. Yeah. 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 Sure. I'm a truck like guy, but yeah. Yeah. not a pickup. Dangerous, side. like fast and. <laughs> she says she's coming skydiving with me. Yeah. Really. I actually want to, I want a buddy cop comedy with you guys. I yeah, think I think we, be, we have a lot of fun because we pretty much like the same thing. I, I found out today she's a concealed carry girl. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. I love it. It's very Republican of her. Yeah. <laughs> I love having my gun and I go everywhere. I don't have it right now, but I, See? I, I, I like to go everywhere. We're going to make you American. <laughs> gun to Gun toting. Yeah. Now you got a bunch of money, so you definitely want you definitely want Trump. <laughs> You're in that higher track bracket now. I want America get better, you know. Whatever. If Trump is gonna help. Make him. America great again. Yeah, if he's gonna make it. All right. You can say it. Yeah. If he's gonna make good things about the country, why not? You like it here. You like America. I love it. Yeah. I love it here. I wanna. This country is the best country in the world. 
I want to only see this country go up, you know, and I love being here. You know? I love being here too. <laughs> Can you tell us about the recognition you got yesterday in the city? How special that was for you? Yeah, it was very special for me. And since I got this belt, my life has been like special, you know, like a, a lot of things, a lot of good things happen, you know, the, the quality world, the, the Amanda's Day yesterday, <laughs> and I went to the, the consulate, it was very nice be recognized for the, the, the consular in LA was awesome. It's been like so so much fun, you know? And I keep, you know, this this thing I, I love it to share with people, you know, and share my life with, if I can help people to my life, people see what I can do and then it's happened. It's been enjoyed, it's been great. I think, um, I think Dana might have said over the weekend that you're interested in, in you win this fight against Valentina in July, maybe going up and, and fighting Cyborg, maybe maybe for the title if she has a title. Is that something that you're interested in doing? I'm interested in fight the girl who holds the belt now. The random me. The random me, yeah. because I already beat her. Right. You know, and if you see one of give it to me the opportunity to go up now, yes, I would take it. But uh, later is another another thing, you know. Cyborg is I wanna see Cyborg with this belt. I'm not interested in fighting her. Not you know? No, I don't need to see fighting her. I'm interested in fighting the girl who the belt now. You know? And after my my next fight we'll see what happens. But why not cyborg? Why aren't you interested in fighting cyborg? Because I have to do a lot of things to fight cyborg, you know? Cyborg is way heavier than me, way bigger than me. I have to do like all like change all my 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 my, my uh, train train yeah. style now to fight cyborg, you know. And this is another thing, you know. I have to go over with my coach to see. And it's another thing I have to I decide by myself, you know. I have to decide with all those people like I always do in my whole career. You know? But uh, if he, they give it to me opportunity before Valentina to hire me, I love to. You know? But uh, now I have another goal, and this is the fight that I schedule for, and after this fight, interesting. With Joanna wanting that 125 belt, it will be a race between you and her and who gets the two belts first. Then, right? <laughs> well, uh, this is one thing like uh, after my fight, things can happen, you know. I, I might go down as well. 125, I try first in the gym uh, to see how it how goes. We'll see, like, after, after this fight, everything can happen because. I, I clean it up the division, right? you know, I beat all the tops in this division before I got the belt, you know, and then when I got the belt, they keep beat the best one. There you and go, now you speak with your chest, see? There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Tell them, and, I clean the motherfucker out. And after go. the next fight, for sure, I'm gonna do something else, like, try to, try to, Out know? of the division. Yeah, I try to do something else, maybe go down, go up, mm -hmm. we'll see. Um, there was talk after this weekend that, that you wanna, People are saying that she's the best women's fighter of all time. I know she's your teammate, but I'm sure that you probably feel like you're you're one of the best too. How, how do you feel about that? Actually, she trained in my gym. Yeah. We don't train together. Okay. You know, she we have completely separate training. I saw I see Joanna say hi and then she go I go the other way. Like if you guys call this teammate, maybe yes, maybe okay. no. She might she use my coach to train, but uh, we don't train together. Yeah. You know, but. Um, uh, I don't know, I, people, whatever people want to say, they can say, you know, I will keep fighting, I will keep improving, everybody in the champion, and whatever people want to say, they say, you know, if she's the best or no, doesn't matter, you know, I will keep doing, you know, I will keep it moving forward in my career. Were you impressed with her, her win on, uh, on Saturday? Actually, uh, she did everything she's supposed to do to beat that girl. I know if that fight passed the, the first round, it's going to be Joanna. If, because if Andrade can uh, cut the distance and then maybe connect the overhand, she's very strong, maybe she's not going out. But uh, if, he, if he passes the first round, I know John is going to take over that fight. It was, it happened. It was exactly the thing she's supposed to do. She did it. Donald, you, you've seen Amanda fight before, I, I'd imagine. 
what do you think of her fighting and her, and her fighting style? Tough. Tough. Eh? I like her, man. Cool <laughs> I like her too, man. Take me. We're if you, we're pals, you leave it close, you're going to have a lot of fun together. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda, uh, I saw that you were quoted um, as saying you were expecting a five round war with Valentina. That was before we had our talk today, right? Do you yeah. not expect to finish her off? Do you not expect to finish her off tonight? Yeah, for sure. You do expect to finish her yeah, off Yeah, definitely. My belt. My belt. No one's taking it. No one's taking it. <laughs> and uh, for sure, this is MMA, you know? I tell you guys, it's gonna be five rounds. If she give me the back in the first one, I will submit her. Like she did my our last fight. Um, I don't, you know, I, I don't have it, like opportunity to finish it, but I, she, I give it, she give it the back and everything, but uh, I let it go. But this time, I, I, will, I will finish her, you know? And I know it's gonna happen. What about, like, your striking has been so good in the last couple of fights. I mean, as a fighter, do you, is there a risk of being too overconfident about a skill like that? Or do you, like, do you have to make sure that everything else is covered? Or do you just say in your mind, like, hey, if I land my shots, this fight's over, I don't care who I'm like. How do you, how do you deal with that? Honestly, like, you have to be ready every way, you know, every situation. And if, if he, I land it, she can take it, I have to keep it moving forward in the, in the fight. And, you know, whatever, whatever happens, we'll be ready. If, she, if I land it, she can take it, we'll move forward. You, think you she have can to take be it ready. You think she can take it? I don't know, we'll see. I didn't, I didn't even know. We'll see. Donald, well, I saw you post a photo of uh, you and John Jones uh, training recently. He has that big fight coming up with DC. Where where is John out? Do you feel like he's he's? I mean, I know the fight is still a few months away, but do you feel like he's he's ready? He's he's locked in already uh, for that fight. Yeah, John Jones is the best. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna come and he's gonna come and get his belt for sure. He's solid, man. He's fired up. He's ready to train. Yeah. He's a stud, man. He is a talented motherfucker. <laughs> motivated for that fight too. And as motivated as John gets, yeah, I'm sure. Amanda, are you surprised that Ronda hasn't decided yet if she wants to continue in the sport or not? I don't know anything about her. Honestly, like, I don't know anything. She literally, she literally disappeared before my fight against her and after. I don't know anything about her. Good, time to eat. It's ha happy. Makes it make people happy, right? It's good. Help to move forward in these sports is very tough. And if you have money you can you can be ready for the next next step in your career, right? This is good. Awesome. Oh for sure. In my mind it already is. Yeah. Fight of the year? Fight of the everything. Fight of my life. <laughs> Can't wait, man. I'm fucking pumped. It's gonna be exciting, you know. I, I don't. I don't even know why I need to keep selling this fight. It's already. If you're not, if you're not a fucking MMA fan and watching this fight, then fuck you. That's all I gotta say, you know. <laughs> Making America great again. She's like a huge Trump supporter. You right, Esther. Thank you. Really good.